Look how cute you are with your little glasses on. Yes, I'm so cute trying to see things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not doing a very good job considering you almost poked your eyeball out putting on makeup today. That's true. Come it on, is. girls. I know you've done that. We've all <laughs> poked our eyeballs out with a mascara wand. It's, uh, it's Tuesday morning. We're at the bins. We're going to be going in about... It's not, it doesn't open for about six minutes. There's already a big line. Ooh, a little bit busy. But we're meeting up with our reseller friends, mother-daughter team, Jill and Kai. They're in town um, for a couple days. and They live in the Bay Area in California. Mm -hmm. so and we drove in. met up last night for dinner, and you'd be shocked what we had. We had tacos. Shocking, I know. Yeah, delicious tacos. Followed up delicious. by some frozen custard, which was also delicious. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and now we're going to hit the bins. And... Uh, Vicky thought we should do more of these bins videos, even though we can't go inside, but whatever. A few little we'll vlog do, videos every, some, every once in a while. Some of these shorter videos to balance out our two hour long <laughs> Sunday, Sunday show. live shows. But uh, I don't know, I'm hoping we find some good stuff. I feel like the last two times we've come to the bins, we've done really well. Mm -hmm. So hopefully I didn't just jinx it for today. Probably so. Uh, it's gonna be garbage today. It's true. Maybe we'll see Jesse also today. Some St. John's Bay and George mm -hmm. brand. That's there it. you go. The poor, day. poor little Jesse's been sick. He was in bed for a few days, but hopefully we'll see him in there today, and maybe we'll get to see some cool stuff that he got. Do some, do some parking lot hauls. Yeah. What do you think? I like parking lot hauls. Yeah. All right. Let's get on in there. Okay. Look who we found. We were just telling everybody that you've been sick. How are you feeling? I feel great. Are you, so, are you ready to tackle the bins? Yeah, I, this is the thing I've missed the most actually in the last five days. So yeah, I, I'm what excited. What does that say about your social life, Jesse? Uh, zero. <laughs> zero social life. <laughs> were you here yesterday? But, no. I All right. Not. Oh, it's your day back. Yeah, All right. I was dying. So I'm glad I'm, glad I'm here though. So. Okay. Well, we'll have to see what you find after you're done. Yep. All right. See you in there. Yep. Okay, we've got Jill and Kai here. Kai, you are currently today representing the Youth of America. Oh yeah. Please tell us what all of us old, old folks, including your mom, have been missing out on at the bins. Gosh, um, well I will say, I'm shocked. Uh, we came um, probably a couple minutes after opening and just right sitting on the top of one of the bins uh, was this Lisa Frank backpack. Now I know some of you guys know Lisa Frank, um, but I even, I even I don't know Lisa Silver Frank that well. I couldn't tell you what era this is. Uh, I'm guessing it's an early 2000s piece. Uh, but this should probably net me like one to two hundred dollars. What? Um, so always, always pick up Lisa Frank. Uh, my mom passed by it. Um, Lisa Frank will not always do well. But if you're at the bins, just grab it. You know? <laughs> well, I think it's got... Yeah, it's the big L. I think the big oh, L, yeah. big F is older. And well, you're she, teaching me something. And to be fair, I didn't see it. I didn't pass it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Jill would have known. <laughs> I'm ribbing you a little bit. <laughs> um, one thing that Mama did pick up um, are these little jelly cats. Uh, jelly cats are great bread and butter pieces, I think. Uh, I don't know if you looked these up, but... Not yet, no. I, I mean, I would cat. guess probably like 10 bucks a piece, but something small, small like this, I would say that's worth yeah, it. Yeah, you paid less than a dollar for it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you mostly look for toys, right? I do. Yes, this is something that you did say you passed up, correct? Um, this yeah. will require some cleaning, but I don't mind doing that personally. Uh, this is one of the older LPS from the early 2000s. This should, in this condition, probably 20 to $25. Um, LPS, teach us the slang. Uh, Littlest Pet Shop. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you'll see them in stores nowadays, but they have a more cartoony look to them. You'll want um, the big eyes like this and the more sort of soft proportions. Um, yeah, and so this one is a jumbo size as well. You can see the size of my hand there in comparison. <laughs> and how much will you sell it for? Uh, around 20 to 25 okay. in this condition. All right. Yeah, if it was m newer, probably around 30. Um, those are probably my most exciting pieces. Um, so sorry to end off on. Uh, I mean, we were only here for what, like 90 minutes? I yeah, mean, like uh, just over. And they're moving hour. real slow. So there was only one rotation while we yeah. were in there. Um, across a couple of bins, I found these Bluey figures. Bluey is really hot right now because the show was recently uh, put onto Netflix. I believe it's an Australian show. Um, and I've heard that it's getting really hard to get find some of the merchandise. Uh, so I was able to find um, a full set of the Healer family. Uh, so I'm thinking around 20 bucks for those. I, I will have to double check comps on those. I have one more in the bag as well. I have the four main healers plus one of the side characters. Cute. Yeah. All right, so not a bad little shopping 
experience before you head off to the airport? Not bad at all, yes. Yeah. Um, it's in her carry-on. <laughs> there you go. Carry -on, yeah. But you didn't find anything? I found a couple of plush. The jelly cats, yeah. All right. Yeah, all right, there you go. I was looking very hard and, uh, and I, I was not in the mood to look at clothes. Yeah, and we're uh, you're flying home back to the Bay Area today. You're driving to our new favorite Mecca, Colorado. Are you going to be doing any thrifting over there? I am. I actually found some really good things in Telluride. There's one small thrift store, but there's also a free box. Ooh, and you're driving there, so you're going to be like loading up your car. Oh yeah, we'll see. We'll look at see. all this space. Look at all, look at all that space. Yeah. Come on. There's all luggage in there, but imagine if that's not there. <laughs> All right, thanks for sharing with us, guys. Right, it's great to see yeah, you. Yeah, wonderful. Well, I ended up with a pretty full bag, 22 pounds. That might be my biggest so far, but only a couple of actual vintage pieces. Uh, well, how about you? Um, about a half full cart, not a ton. I spent 50 bucks. This was like, I don't know, 40 pounds or something like that. Just, you know, 40 something pounds. This is pretty cute. This is a cute little, um, you know, 90s vintage, like poet blouse. Laces up back, very red and fair. Someone will buy that. Um, some vintage rustler. They're like slacks, you know, the straight leg. Um, you know, early 80s polyester. They mm -hmm. sell well um, for that retro hipster kind of thing. And then, whack, 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 whack. So he's vintage. Um, I know that some duck decoys are worth a lot of money. Uh, I don't think this is necessarily one of them, but I figured he's so lightweight and old that he's probably worth something. There's no signature though, so I don't know. Anybody, Anybody? out there a duck decoy expert? Yeah, we're my duck decoy experts at. Um, but he definitely has some age to him, so we'll see. Uh, nothing fantastic. Some real basic 80s men's. Um, vintage sweaters, you know, $30, $40 range, but yeah. they were cheap. They were definitely slow um, changing out the bins today. Yeah, today we just did two rotations. I mean, this one's pretty cool. So, uh, size large, made in Hong Kong, made in Korea, most of them. Mm -hmm. We'll save some of it for Sunday's show. Jeez. Yeah, that's pretty much that's all I'm going to show you now. The rest you'll have to see on Sunday. We just pulled up back at home. We did stop. What'd you get? What is your drink of choice? Sugar-free iced mocha. Yup. And I get the 911 Half Sweet, which has about a bazillion shots of coffee in it. Yeah, because she needs more energy, clearly. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Uh, so I only grabbed, like, I got, like, it was a pretty mediocre day for me as far as like my regular stuff goes, like stuff I want to put on my platforms. Like I did get some, like two really cool vintage t-shirts, but overall, meh. However, today I decided that I was gonna start grabbing like some cool graphic tees and see about doing some whatnot shows, one or two shows next week. And I actually found some really cool stuff. You helped me grab some as well. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we're paying a dollar eighty nine a pound. A t-shirt generally is around eight ounces. So, and we're not paying tax at Goodwill, sales tax. So I'm spending like less than a dollar. If I do $2 starts and sell, you know, some of them for at least five bucks, 10 bucks even, who knows what, we'll see. We'll see if it, it works out. And I was talking to Jesse and he was like, well, you probably got to figure out what you're going to do with the stuff that doesn't sell. And I said, well, I'll just sell them to you. And he laughed and he said, well, I'll pay you, I'll give you a dollar credit for any of the stuff you bring in. Cause he knows the stuff I grab is going to be the same kind of stuff he would grab as well. So I'm like, I can't lose. I basically grab whatever I think looks cool, sell it on the whatnot. On the whatnot? Yep. And then just trade it into Jesse if it doesn't sell. So it's a pretty, pretty good deal. And speaking of whatnot, you guys, so today's Tuesday, tomorrow, this video is going to come out tomorrow and Wednesday, but today, really meaning yesterday, uh, there is a video up of, we're going to go film it right in here in a little bit. Um, Vicky's doing a whatnot on Thursday, which you want on Thursday, which if you watch this video, the day it comes out, which will be Wednesday, then that means tomorrow, Thursday, she's going to have a whatnot show. So I'm going to have the links all down below. Uh, I'll have the link to the video, um, her teaser video of her whatnot show, and I'll have the link to the show itself. So make sure that you uh check out that video and come hang out with us on whatnot because it's been a while it's been a while it's been since i'm also like... going to do one on sunday oh and you... and she's going to do one on sunday what 
I'm gonna do one on Sunday right after our show. Hmm. So I'm gonna do one on Sunday at hmm. 4 p.m. Hmm. Hmm. News to me, guys. So. <laughs> So yeah, I guess check out, you know, we're just trying to figure out how to make things work in this world where uh, sales are a little bit more challenging. And so, uh, you know, like we were talking about on our show this week. And pivot. Pivot. Figure out, expand what you're doing. Make some changes to how you source, how you sell. You got to do what you got to do because, man, we got to we gotta pay the bills. You know what I'm saying? Got to feed those puppies. Yeah, I got to get Vicky that coffee because you know what? She's not she's not doing life without coffee. No. So you're not doing life without me having coffee is what you're saying. That's very true. I would I I value my life and I would like to continue breathing. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. <laughs>